Let's solve this linear differential equation, and right here we see that we have dx dt. This tells us that x is the dependent variable and t is the independent variable. And right here we also have x to the first power only, right? There's no other place that has the x or dx or whatnot. This right here is indeed a linear differential equation. So let's get into the form that we want first. That means we should divide everything by t squared, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Right here, you see t squared will cancel each other out, and we will just have dx dt right here. And next, we add it with 3t over t squared, that's 3 over t. And we put the x on the side, and this is equal to t to the fourth power over t squared. We have t squared, and then that's ln of t, and this is plus 1 over t squared. And now we are ready to find the integrating factor, right? This is the p that we want. In this case, this is the p of t, which is 3 over t. And let's find the mu. Mu of t, in this case, is e raised to the integral of 3 over t power, like this. And what's the dt? All right, e is just the e. Let's put on a 3. Integral of 1, right? I put on a 3 already. Integral of 1 over t is ln absolute value of t, like this. Don't worry about the plus c. And be sure you take the 3 to the exponent. So we have e to the ln absolute value t raised to the third power, so that this and that will cancel. And as I said, you don't need to worry about the plus c. And you also don't need to worry about the absolute value. That means I'm just going to put down t to the third power. This is all we need. Everything will work out nicely, right? All right, let's multiply everything by t to the third power. And maybe you can just like look at the original equation and then multiply just t. But then, of course, that would be really hard. This is the really nice procedure to figure out exactly what you need. All right, this right here is t to a third power times that. So let's write this down real quick. t cubed times dx dt. And then this times that is uh, one of the t's got cancelled. So we have plus 3t squared x. And we have this is equal to, we have t to the third power times t to the second power. That's t to the fifth power. And then this is ln t right here. Lastly, t to the third power times 1 over t squared. We have just plus t. Okay, as usual, you know the left-hand side should be the derivative of a product of two functions, and one of them is the mu, the other one is the y, right? In fact, it's once again correct, because we can just put down t to the third power times, well, it's not the y in this case, it's the x. So, you see, if you differentiate t to the third power times x, you first put down t to the third power, and you multiply by the derivative of the x, which is dx dt, and you keep the x, and then you differentiate this, which is 3t squared, and you add it with that. So, great. <laughs> and you write this down, t to the fifth power, ln of t, and then we add a t after that. Of course, integrate both sides. Right? So that this and that will cancel. And on the right-hand side, it's easy. We just have t to the third power times x, and don't put down the plus c yet, just do that on the right-hand side. And this is equal to, we have integral of t to the fifth power times ln t. For this, we have to do integration by parts, right? And I will show you guys with the di method. So let's do it right here. So I will write this down again. This is just for the integral, t to the fifth power times ln of t, okay? And I have to choose something to be differentiated and pick something to be integrated. And we must have the plus minus on the side, right? Well, let's think about what should we pick to be integrated first. Should I integrate ln t? No, because in order for us to integrate ln t from scratch, we have to do another di method. So, I'm going to integrate t to the fifth power. Be sure you always pick something to be integrated that's something that's easy to be integrated first. Okay? And then right here, we'll just choose ln t to be differentiated. This Pretty easy to differentiate ln t, right? It's just 1 over t. And of course, we can integrate t to the 5th power, which is 1 over 6, t to the 6th power. 
And you know, when you do the DI method like this, the product of the diagonals is the part of the answer, along with the sign right here. But then for the product of the row, it is still an integral, okay? So keep that in mind. Therefore, this is going to give us this times that, well, we will have just 1 over 6, t to the 6th power times ln of t. And once again, the product of a row it is still an integral. And the reason that we stopped it right here is because if you want to keep going, we will regret because this right here can never be zero, right? In the D column. The main reason is because I notice when I multiply this and that, the function point wise, we can integrate. Whenever we can integrate a row, we stop and then we just put this down. Be sure you attach the sign of a side right here, okay? So we have the minus, and this is still an integral. Let me put down the 1 over 6 right here, and we have the 1 over t, and multiply by t to the 6th power dt. Well, let's just focus on this right here. If you guys don't mind, this is just the integral. 1 over t times t to the 6th power is t to the 5th power dt, right? So by looking at this, I will have to do this again. So this is just uh, put on in blue. So this is just another 1 over 6, t to the 6th power, okay? Alright, I will put everything down in blue right here for the integral of this. We will have this, which is 1 over 6, t to the 6th power times ln t. And we subtract, we have a 1 over 6 right here, and times this 1 over 6, we have 1 over 36. And here we have t to the 6th power. Okay, so this right here is the integral for t to the fifth power times ln t. Okay, and then of course, don't forget that we still have to integrate t right here. I will do this one in black. The integral of t in the t world is just plus one and a half t squared, and we are done. We put on plus c at the end, right? So this is pretty much the integration steps, and at the end, we have to solve for x. Let's divide everything by t to the third power. So they cancel. I'll divide this by t to the third power. I'll divide this by t to the third power. I'll divide this by t to the third power. Likewise, don't forget to divide the constant by t to the third power as well. Here we have x. Okay, x as a function of t. This is equal to, well, let's just focus on the t parts because t to the sixth power over t to the third power, that's the only thing we can reduce, right? we will have t to the third power altogether, and we still have the rest, 1 over 6, t to the third power, ln of t. This and that, we have minus 1 over 36, and once again, that's t to the third power. And this and that, we will have a t in the denominator, right? Because this is t squared over t to the third power, so I'll write this as plus 1 over 2, and the t is in the denominator. At the end, we have plus, c over t to the third power. And this right here is the general solution. However, we have to solve for the c because we do have the initial value. So let's go ahead and do that. Be sure to do this carefully though. The input is the independent variable, which is t in this case. When t is 1, x will be 0. So let's see if I can fit in everything. We have 0 for x, and this is equal to 1 over 6 times t is 1 to the third power times ln of 1, and then minus 1 over 36 times 1 to the third power plus 1 over 2 times 1. Okay, this is my parentheses, and we have plus c over 1 to the third power. Okay, this is 0. This is equal to ln1 is also 0, so the whole thing right here is 0. And this right here is just minus 1 over 36. And this right here is plus 1 half. And this right here is just plus c. Okay, do whatever you need to do. Uh, you pretty much just add the fractions here, right? So, of course, I'm not going to show you guys how to add or subtract fractions. Seriously, just do whatever you want to do. Uh, you multiply by 18 here, 18 here, so you will have a 17 over 36 positive. And you move it to the other side. So you know C will be 
negative 17 over 36. Finally, I'll write this down for you guys. X is equal to this, 1 over 6, t to the third power, ln of t, minus 1 over 36, t to the third power, plus 1 over 2t. And we know c is that, right? So I will just put this down as minus 17 over 36. And we have the t to the third power in the denominator. This right here, is it. If you don't think this is fun, you're in the wrong class.